approach much greater or the, the esteem, the reward of Christ, the anointing much greater than that of the riches of Egypt. And I believe that if we can stir our hearts to realize these three things, young people tonight, look at them again. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. You're not the son of Pharaoh's daughter. You're, you're the son of God. Amen. We're sons of God. Don't ever sacrifice being declared that, being sons of God. Don't be ashamed of your faith. I was telling them last Sunday night that I went in getting my visa. One of the, going to one of the countries. And uh, when I was in there, they said, now you need another picture, go over and get another one and bring it back here, but don't go back in the line and get your number, but you just come right back here. And I did, uh, thinking that I was following orders. When I came back to step in line, this couple behind me in line next said, uh, we're in here ahead of you. I said, I'm just following orders. I'm just going, you know, as his officers asked me to come, not go back in line, but come to finish when I was already in line. And the man said, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I wheeled around like somebody shot. I said, don't you ever dare take the name of my Lord Jesus Christ in vain again. He went, whoa. <laughs> Boy, like he stumped, I thumped him in the nose. He laid down against the wall. And he still, when I left, he was still against the wall. I said, well, and, I, and when I left, I said to her, I said, excuse me, but I was just following his orders. And the officer said, no, 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 you're to come. And so, uh, but you know, sometimes we can be sweet and nice. We could have let our light shine. He saw another light. <laughs> Hallelujah. How I many are they not going to take the name of the Lord? He, he, was, he was Muslim. He should have said, oh, we'll have it. Yeah. No, no, he said, Jesus Christ. That's my Lord. Don't you take his name in vain. And it was out of my mouth before I realized. So when I walked by, he was like this. <laughs> I'll let him out of here. You know, we, there are times we got to speak up. Yes. We're pussyfooting around. I want to be called those, and I'm reading that book I told you about. These Christians who were so powerful in their faith, who didn't compromise, but stood firm in their conviction. How many do we have in this kind of generation? I will conclude for the third time. <laughs> but there was in Russia, in a communist country, I think it was Russia, they said that two soldiers went in and said, uh, we're going to kill all the Christians in this church this morning. All those who uh, are willing to give up their faith, leave, we'll give you, we'll give you moments to get out. Boy, they just, they just were just flying out the door. They had all these Christians in the service that morning. And just a handful of people were left. Mm. And the soldiers put down their, their guns and said, Good, we're Christians too, but we didn't want to worship among those who would tell on us. So now we can all worship God together. Let's have church, Pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. I wonder if somebody came in here and said, All right, we're going to shoot all you Christians. All of a sudden, we're not Christians anymore. Get him, he is. No, no, stand up. We used to sing, stand up and tell it if you love my Jesus. Stand up and tell it if you love my Lord. I want to know, I want to know if you love my Lord. Some of you know it, you old timers, you're older than I am. Stand up and tell it if you love your Jesus. Why are we compromising? You look at the purity of faith. Next couple of weeks, we're going to see people who live out their faith day by day in affliction, in persecution, in wantiness, in difficulties. But they have faith in a living God that not all things they will receive in this life, but they're going to get it in the life hereafter. The kingdom of God is glorious. Hallelujah. If it doesn't all happen here, it will happen. Hallelujah. Did you hear the preacher? If it doesn't all happen here, it will happen. His kingdom is coming. His glory is being revealed. His name shall be exalted. And we are the people of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are the people of God in the house tonight? Yes. Glory to God. All those that love the Lord, let us stand to our feet. Before I start preaching again. <laughs> glory to God.